Hello everyone, myself Meenu Das. I will discuss about the basic portion of reverb training. So everybody is familiar with the term training. It means the action of teaching a person or animal a particular behavior or skill. So same is the case with river training. It is the process of guiding the river to flow in a desired path as far as possible. So if we see that if the natural channels are allowed to flow freely, they may cause devastations and troubles to the human beings. So, during the time of heavy rainfall and also when there is scarcity of rainfall, river training works are necessary. And for this purpose, various engineering works are done in the river. And those engineering works are termed as river training works. So here we can see it is written, river training covers all those engineering works which are constructed on a river so as to guide and confine the flow to the river channel and to control and regulate the river bed configuration. Thus, we can say that river training works are necessary to direct the river flow in a desired path so that the problem of flood, erosion, deposition, meandering, etc. may be mitigated to a great extent. So, there are various objectives of river training. Few of them are discussed here. First one is to prevent the river from changing its course and to avoid outflanking of structures like bridges, wires, etc. That is, if the water level is increased during the flood period, the river may change its course and flow through important areas like villages, cities, crop fields, etc. causing huge damages. So to avoid these problems, river training works are required. Next, to prevent flooding of the surrounding countries, by providing a safe passage for the flood water without overtopping the bank. As already discussed, the nearby areas of the river will get affected during flood time as the excess water will overtop the bank and will inundate the nearby areas. So, river training works are required so that this excess water during the flood time can pass safely without causing much damage to the surrounding areas. Next is to ensure effective disposal of sediment load. During the time of high flow, river carry lot of sediment along with its flow. If these sediments are not disposed, they may create various problems like depth of flow of the river will get decreased and also if there is any reservoir in that river those sediments carried by the river will get deposited in the bed of the reservoir as a result the life of the reservoir will get reduced Next is to provide minimum water depth required for navigation. So, uh, we know that during the time of low flow, the depth of water in the river will get reduced and hence navigation works cannot be carried out. As we know that for navigation purpose, some minimum depth of water is required. So, to maintain that minimum depth of water in the river training works are required. Thus, overall, we can see that river training works are necessary for proper maintenance of river. That's all. Thank you.